Well, the other girl. Yeah. Uh, not for the door. The girl came here with a, a one-year um, uh, contract. Uh, one, one well, there year. ain't no crooks up there, Pappy. As far as I can see, there's a very nice mess of people. And I can tell you all this much. The country's doing just fine. Right, Sam? You is so right, boy. Them city folks and weans are pretty much alike. Though they ain't used to living in the sticks. We don't like stoner seamen, but we is in agreement. When we get down to talking politics, the country's in the very best of hands. The best of hands. I'd also like to bring out the fact that currently it's 13 metres height limit in Monavale. They're proposing 23 metres. Now, 13 metres is four storeys. How do you get an extra 10 metres just for two storeys? You don't. That's five metres a storey. That's ridiculous. So, at seven metres, or at an absolute squeeze, it's, 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 it's uh, seven storeys, sorry. An absolute squeeze, it's eight storeys. Everyone's talking about affordable housing. The policy is going to allow the buildings to be 20% bigger and 20% higher. So the seven storeys or eight storeys is going to be 10 storeys. The other thing I'd like to point out, these yellow balloons yep. that are flying up in the air, that's not, not to say that well, this is a rally and come and join us, which is, is good for that, I guess, as well, but <laughs> they represent the 16 and a half metre height limit that's in this plan. We're going to have four storeys 16 and a half metres height limit coming in from, from, from the Pitwater Road there, coming in from Park Street, they're surrounding three sides of Village Park, all the way down to the corners almost. So that's what the balloons are for, to show how ridiculous the place plan is in relation to height for Village Park. The Treasury says the national debt is climbing to the sky. And government expenditures have never been so high. It makes a fella get a gleam of pride within his eye to see how our economy expands. The country's in the very best of hands. Pitwater Council had a community that was first rate, first rate, and a council that was first rate. And it's, and it's the right size for the people here, totally supported by the people here, and then destroyed by this bad government. This administrator now has the opportunity to show he's his own person. He's had six months where we've been merged. Uh, I hope these councillors are still being paid, know that now that it's not working and retire, or stand up and say, I'm not doing any more. But the administrator, if he is a man of integrity, will surely say, I've listened now for six months. I will give the people of Pitwater the opportunity of having their say by having a plebiscite. What are, what are the chances of that, do you think? Well, it's a matter for the administrator. He will do as he's told to do. That's probably why he's withdrawn this uh, place, mate. Well, that could be so. <laughs> I don't know, but, but I mean, one and one make two, don't they? One and one make two, I agree with that. But I'm asking this administrator if he wants to be remembered and known as a man of integrity, he's had six months in the new job, let the people have a plebiscite. Because, Phil, I was on Moringa Council, it doesn't work. You are always outvoted on everything. And what happened with uh, Pitwater when I was on Moringa Council? It didn't have roads, it didn't have footpaths, it didn't have community buildings. The trouble, Bob, is that he's not the, uh, he's not your administrator. He's not Pitwater's administrator. He's the, he's the administrator for, for the old Warringah and Manly and Pitwater. And so, you know, the people of, of Warringah and the former mayor of Warringah, they were hot to trot for amalgamation. Yeah. So he's, he's, he's got to be the administrator for all those areas. Whereas uh, clearly of the three councils on the Northern Beaches, the one council that put its hand up right from the start and said, we do not want this, they, their vote, your vote was overwhelmingly against it. 90% of the people wanted it, Phil, to remain as we are. 90 yeah. Can you imagine such a high majority? Oh, no, and this government, yeah, yeah, just, yeah. if I may say the word, and I, I really shouldn't say, spat in our faces. Let me tell you, the people, the councillors who are accepting the money will now be aware 
but Warringa is the dominant force, as it was when I was on uh, Warringa Council. Yep. They must resign because they give credibility to this new council. The country's in the very best of hands. The best of hands. The best of hands. Let me tell you, Pitwater has developed an identity of its own. It really has an identity. And you look at it now, we're here at Mona Vale, it has a good feel about it. Right there. Warringah, or the dominant group in this new council, will destroy that. Well, every political party, other than the Liberals and the Nationals, have promised, have committed to de-amalgamation after the next election. And the other really important is that all around the North Shore there are groups of people now working out a strong independent to run against these Liberal members who have completely disrespected what communities have asked them to do. So it's only two years to vote. If it has an ED amalgamated by 2019, it's pretty clear to me that uh, the present government won't be in power anymore. No, exactly. But I really hope, and I call upon the administrator, it's now been six months, give the people a plebiscite now before March to let them give, have the opportunity of saying they've had six months, is it working? or do they want to, or do they like to go back to as they were? That is something this administrator can do and remain his own man, even though he's yeah. in being well, put employed. put a time limit on it, Bob, because what you need to say to him is, you've got to make that decision by a certain time, because, because if he doesn't, then, then you know he's kept totally yeah. captive, which I think he is captive, yeah. myself, but, but you will know that he's totally captured by the government and he will not do it. Us voters is connected to the nominee. The nominee's connected to the treasury. When he ain't connected to the treasury, he sits around in his thigh bone. I believe these current councillors who are being paid to still stay on the new council will now realise it's not working and I think they will come out now and resign. In Orange, the Baird government was decimated by the biggest swing ever in the history Amazing. of New South yeah. Wales Amazing, and Carol. probably Australia, but Anthony Green, the expert, said the biggest swing ever in by-election history. Yeah. And uh, that was ma the major issue in Orange, the major issue was forced council amalgamation. Pitwater was the gold standard for all other councils. Yes, it was. And we, uh, we wept when, we, yeah. when this happened yeah. to this community. Yeah. Yeah. What unfortunately happened to our side of the argument were, was that we tended to be defeated five or four on a lot of issues. No, what, what happened worst in Pitwater, much worse yeah, than in other areas, was that you were let down by your local, your local yeah. member and, and by mayor. your mayor. Yeah. You were let down yeah. terribly. Probably the greatest bastard acts I've yeah. ever seen in politics. You were walked to the, to the, to the scaffold, really. Yeah. Yes. Well, and they couldn't see it. Them bones, them bones gonna rise again, gonna exercise the franchise again, gonna tax us up to our eyes again. When it gets them off and they're five more. The country's in the very best of hands. The best of hands. The best of hands. When you trust people and you trust and I trusted the Baird government and I trusted our political representatives and then they just they just destroyed the community destroyed Pitwater destroyed the will of the people for what purpose? For what purpose I ask you? Because all they're seeking to do is to have more population, higher density, higher buildings. 
that's not the vision for Pitwater. We can achieve a higher number of people by other methods. It's like this current vision the general manager has, which used to be Pitwater's general manager. He wants us to be like Manly, six storeys, uh, a vibrant nightlife. No. We don't need uh, apartment six floors. We don't need development of uh, the industrial area. We need that uh, retained for, uh, for job creation. We don't need the park to be, uh, to be developed and have uh, some buildings in our park. We want the open spaces to remain. Pitwater is a unique environment and let me tell you, the general manager and I think the administrator now realise they don't have the confidence of the people. Have a plebiscite before March. If you're a man of integrity, please have a plebiscite. You, uh, in my opinion, I think you are a man of integrity. Let the people have a say. They've had it for six months. Let's see what they want now. The country's in the very